Hello everybody, welcome back to the KOTLC fanbase. My name is Austin and today we have another KOTLC Hunger Games Simulator. So if you have not watched a Hunger Games Simulator video, we put 24 KOTLC characters into a simulation. We simulate a Hunger Games to see who comes out as the winner as the 24 people battle it out in the Hunger Games. But before we get into simulating the Hunger Games, make sure to drop a like if you have been liking these Hunger Games video because dropping a like tells me that you want more of these types of videos. Also make sure to comment down below who do you think will win this Hunger Games. Make a prediction down below and if see if your KOTLC character wins the Hunger Games. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new or haven't already. We know that 70% of you guys watching are not subscribed and it would be amazing if you guys could consider subscribing we are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 and if you could support our hard work that would be amazing if you can also make sure to share this video with any of your friends who have read KOTLC let's get straight into the KOTLC Hunger Games first in the video we're going to go over all of the KOTLC characters that will be in this video competing in the Hunger Games. So in District 1, we have Sophie Foster and Keith Sensen. District 2, we have Tam Song, Lynn Song. District 3, we have Dex Disney, Marella Reddick. District 4, we have Fitzvacker and Bianca Vacker. District 5, we have Grady Ruin and Edelon Ruin. District 6, we have Alden Vacker and Della Vacker. District 7, we have Elwin and Livy. District 8, we have Sandor and Alvar. District 9, we have Stina and Wiley. District 10, we have Jensi and Maraca. District 11, we have Lady Gisela and Mr. Forkel. District 12, we have Counselor Bronte and Vespera. So those are all the characters that we will see in this Hunger Games. But before I click proceed and the Hunger Games begin, make sure to comment down below who do you think is going to win out of those 24 KOTLC characters, who do you think is going to win this Hunger Games? Without further ado, let's jump straight into the first day. All right, so Hunger Games, the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on the podium, the horn sounds and the Hunger Games starts. All right, so first Sandor runs away from the cornucopia. Lady Gisela also runs away from the cornucopia. Lynn runs away from the cornucopia. Fitz runs away with a lighter and some rope. Livy takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Ham runs away from the cornucopia. Mr. Forkel takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Stina convinces Della to not kill him, only to kill her instead. Wow. So Stina kills Della. That is the first kill. Let's keep on moving. Bianca runs away from the cornucopia. Alvar grabs a shovel. Adeline runs away from the cornucopia. Morella snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. Vespera runs away from the cornucopia. Elwin runs away from the cornucopia. Maraca runs away from the cornucopia. Jensi runs away with a lighter and some rope. Brady grabs a shovel. Dex snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Sophie clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Alden runs away from the cornucopia. Wiley runs away from the cornucopia. Bronte grabs a shield leaning on the cornucopia. And Keith cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Wow. That's terrible that Keith is already out. I wish he went a little bit further. Let's get on to the next day. So day number one, Dex is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Sophie travels to higher ground. Bronte discovers a cave. Bianca tries to spear fish with a trident. Elwin chases Tam. Lady Gisela attacks Sandor, but Fitz protects him in killing Lady Gisela. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fitz protected Sandor from Lady Gisela, and now Fitz has a kill. Livy camouflages herself in the bushes. Vespera silently snaps Edeline's neck. Wow, another kill. And now Edeline is gone. Already four people are out of the Hunger Games. Next, Morella injures herself. Grady searches for a water source. Jensi practices his archery. Maraca runs away from Lynn. Alvar throws a knife into Stina's chest. Okay, so now Stina with one kill is dead by Alvar. So Alvar now has a kill. Mr. Forkel constructs a shack. Alan discovers a cave and Wiley discovers a river. So that is the end of day one. So we're going to look at the fallen tributes, which we have five fallen tributes, which are Della, Keith, Lady Gisela, Adeline, and Stina. If you voted for them, they are out. Now let's take a quick check at everybody's status. And as you can see, the people that are alive with a kill are Fitz, Alvar, and Vespera. They each have one kill. Nothing too crazy yet. So let's go back into night one. Wiley looks at the night sky. Vespera thinks about home. Sandor catches Alvar off guard and kills him. Okay, so now Sandor has a kill and Alvar with one kill has died. So there's been a lot of kills and a lot of people have been eliminated so far. Morella tries to treat her infection. Sophie and Grady sleep in shifts. Fitz convinces Elwyn to snuggle with them. Alden lets Dex into his shelter. Bianca goes to sleep. Jensi screams for help. Marla and Lynn run into each other and decide to choose 
for the night. Tim and Mr. Fork will run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Bronte lets Livy into his shelter. So now let's get on to day two. Sophie severely injures Elwyn, but puts him out of his misery. So wow, a Sophie gets a kill and Elwyn is down. You never know how powerful Sophie is sometimes. Grady accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. So now Grady is gone. So Mr. Forkel and Alden split up to search for resources. Maraca, Vespera, and Fitz hunt for other tributes. Lynn kills Dex for his supplies. So it looks to be that everyone is getting around one kill. I don't think anyone has two kills yet, but everyone is getting kills and a lot of people are eliminated so far. So let's keep going. Bronte constructs a shack. Marilla tries to spear fish with a trident. Sandor constructs a shack. Livy receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Wiley dies trying to escape the arena. There are not that many people left. Bianca and Tam work together for the day and Jensi dies from thirst. So wow, two people just die just from no one killing them. So there's probably less than half the people left in this thing. So we're going to proceed and we're going to hear six cannon shots. Alvar, Elwyn, Grady, Dex, Wiley, Jensi are all dead. So if you vote for them, they are out and we can check everyone's status. There have been 11 KO Tilsi characters who have died. There are only 13 people still alive, which are Sophie Foster, Tam Song, Lynn Song, Morella Reddick, Fitz Vacker, Bianca Vacker, Alan Vacker, Livy Sandor, Maraca, Mr. Forkel, Counselor Bronte, Vespera. They are all alive. The five people that have kills in this game all have one kill, so you can see it's very evenly matched. So let's go into night two. Night two. Morella falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Okay, so another person down. Now down to 12 people left. Half of the tributes down. Bianca fends Livy, Tam, and Lynn away from her fire. Sandor climbs a tree to rest. Bronte cries himself to sleep. Sophie, Alden, and Mr. Forkel discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Fitz begs for Vespera to kill him. She reluctantly obliges killing Fitz. So wow, Fitz is gone to Vespera. Now Vespera has the lead with two kills. And next, Maraca passes out from exhaustion. So not very many kills in the night. So now we're on to day three. Sophie accidentally steps on a landmine. Wow, that is too unfortunate. So now Sophie is out. Livy camouflages herself in the bushes. Maraca collects fruit from a tree. Bronte tries to sleep through the entire day. Sandor searches for a water source. Tam, Mr. Forkel, and Vespera hunt for other tributes. Lynn begs for Alden to kill her. He refuses, keeping Lynn alive. Wow, he's so nice. And now Bianca dies trying to escape the arena. So now two people have died to try to escape the arena. Now we are under 10 people left in the game. And for the fallen tributes, we hear four more cannon shots. Morella, Fitz, Sophie, Bianca, all dead. And so if you were voting for any of these four people, they are out, unfortunately. So let's check everyone's status. And again, as I mentioned, Vespera has the most kills right now with two. And with that, we are entering the top 10. You can see that the Song twins are still alive. Alden Vacker is still alive. Livy, Sandor are still alive. Maraca is still alive. Mr. Forkel is still alive. And then Counselor Bronte and Vespera are still alive. So let's get straight back into it and see who wins this. So night three, Vespera receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Livy is awoken by nightmares. Mr. Forkel and Alden run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Tam cooks his food before putting his fire out. Lynn cooks her food before putting her fire out. Wow, the twin instincts, they have the same things. Bronte thinks about home, Sandor quietly hums, and then Maraca receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, so no kills there. All right, so now we are at the feats where the cornucopia is replenished with food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's family, a risk they have to take for this extra supply because a lot of people will be coming. So now Sandor cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. That is nine people left. And then Alden bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Two people out just like that. And now there's eight people left in this thing. So now Tam decides to not go to the feast. Bronte overpowers Maraca, killing her. So now there's seven people left. Mr. Forkel is unable to convince Livy to not kill him. And now Mr. Forkel is gone. And then Vespera decides not to go to the feast and Lynn decides not to go to the feast. So with that feast, there have been three kills, which puts us even closer to the winner. Day 4, Vespera, Bronte, and Tam hunt for other tributes. Lynn tries to sleep through the entire day, and Lynn receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Now there is a arena event. A volcano erupts at the center of the arena, so now Tam dips his weapon into the lava and kills Livy with it. Bronte pushes Lynn into the lava, and then Vespera is buried in ash. Three people died to the volcano. Livy, Lynn, and Vespera both died, with Tam and Bronte getting a kill. So now we have seven cannon shots to be heard. Sandor, Alden, Maraca, Mr. Forkel, Livy, Lynn, and Vespera have all died. So we're going to check everyone's status. And we can see that there are two people left. Tamsong and Counselor Bronte. Counselor Bronte with two kills and Tamsong with one kill. So now we are down to the last two people. Put your prediction down in the comments who is going to win in this final battle, Tam or Bronte. So now let's get straight into it. All right, so night four. Bronte cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide, in which this leads us for the winner, the winner is Tam from District 2. I feel like every single time we do this, the ending is so anticlimactic. But still, Tam has won, which is 
pretty, pretty cool. He kind of flew under the radar with only one kill, but he still did a great job and he won this thing out of all 24 other characters. So here you can see the placements with the top six being Tam, Bronte, Vespera, Lynn, Livy, and Mr. Forkel. So if you want to check this summary, you can pause the video, but here's all of the kills that have been happening in this Hunger Games. And you can also see all the placements and district placements and kills. If you want to check these out, you can pause the video. But as you can see, the people with the most kills are Vespera, Bronte with two, and then a lot of other people got one, but that is it. Tam did win the Hunger Games. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's get into the outro. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that awesome KOTLC Hunger Games simulator. I was very unexpected to see Tam come out as the winner, but it was very awesome to see him win. So remember, make sure to drop a like down below if you want more KOTLC Hunger Games. Can we get this video to 250 likes? Make sure to comment down below who you thought was going to win this Hunger Games and what place did they end up getting. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We put in a lot of work to get two KOTLC uploads to all of you per week. We're spending a lot of time on this channel, so if you guys could help us out by pressing that subscribe button, it would mean a lot and help us with our future projects and if you want to check out some KOTLC merch we have a awesome KOTLC merch store at bit.ly slash KOTLC fanbase which we have so Keith, so fits Iggy and so many more designs that you guys could check out and that is all for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys next week have a great rest of your day peace